periva sharanam experiences with his holiness narrated by shivashri jagadish shivacharya pandanai nallur compiled by ts kodandaram sharma the mahan who wiped our tears devotees saw with their own eyes that water was leaking from the corner of shri vishnu durgais eyes in the arulmigu pandanadu nayaki sameetha pashupadinath swami temple at pandanai nallur this happened on 19th february 1986 they rushed and reported the matter to me i went and had a look tears were leaking out of ambal's two eyes there were no words to describe the agony of our heart i arranged to bestow worship on a young virgin girl treating her as durga submitting saubhagya dravyas and performing the navakshari mantra japam in front of the kannika durga why is this flaw mother i asked her the virgin girl who was sitting as durga told us that she had a vision of a divine girl who wore a green skirt telling her reduce my burden and disappearing thereafter we performed special abhisheka aradhana to vishnu durga and the tears stopped we went to kanchipuram to supplicate this matter to shri mahapriyavar and seek his clarification and guidance priyava gave us 25 liters of ganga jalam water from the ganga he asked us to spiritually strengthen it with 1 lakh avartis repetition of the navakshari mantra perform abhisheka to vishnu durga with the strengthened water and then report to him after 4 months and after carrying out the orders of periyava we went to oririkkai orikkai a village adjacent to kanchipuram where periyava was staying i told periyava that the tears that had been flowing from durga's eyes had stopped periyava heard me and then contemplated the matter for some time then he asked does the roof over durga touch her head i could not remember if it was so though i have been performing the daily puja i said i did not notice i shall go back and have a look when i got back and checked the roof by inserting a thick thread between durga's head and the roof i found out that the roof was indeed touching her head for the thread did not appear on the other side it was also confirmed that a crack in the wall had caused the roof to slant slightly and thus touch durga's head we came and apprised periyava of the details periyava ordered us to take durga's statue out make a shallow tent on the roof then place the statue back on its base and then perform kumbhabhishekha changes were made as directed by him and the kumbhabhishekha took place in the thai month of the year 1987 we came back for periyavar's darshan with the prasadam periyavar happily listened to the details and accepted the prasadam he said people of your village are very fortunate ambal's crying was to give everyone her anugraha while we were conversing a gujarati devotee came for darshan periyava spoke a few words to him then looking at us he asked what would it cost for you people to make a trip here about 300 rupees he asked the gujarati to give 300 rupees he considered periyavar's agnya as his parama bhagya and gave the money very happily we experienced and melted at the utmost consideration and compassion the divine periyavar had for the prosperity of shivacharyas who touch the god and do puja
periyava not only cleared durga's burden on the head but also burden in our hearts who else except periyava can give such divine guidance periyava sharanam